All right. So far, so good. Let's uh, listen to our snare bottom here. I'm not going to do much with this. I think I'm just going to maybe hit it with blockfish and bring it out a little bit. Get a little more uh, saturation signal, whatever you want to call it. And we got to hit the air button. <laughs> That's good. Let's get a uh, level between the snare top and snare bottom. This is by ear. There's no rules here. I'm doing what sounds good to me. Alright, that'll work. Let's move on to the hi hat. Not a whole lot happening here. We're just gonna. Oop, wrong one. We're just going to maybe try to get rid of some of that uh, white noise pss, 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 sound going on there. That's going to get irritating real quick. Let's just throw a uh, low pass on it. Try and minimize it there. And let's put a high pass on it too just to make sure we ain't got any junk coming through the bottom there. It. That's all I want to do there. Get that so you can see it. There we go. That's fine. Now we're going to work toms. So now we got to find some toms in our mix here so that we can solo them out. Yeah, I'm looking at the tom track here and I'm trying to find some spots where we're hitting the toms. That looks like a good one there. I'm going to go ahead and loop this and all I'm doing is uh, left clicking and dragging. I'm going to loop it for two bars. And we got the loop button already turned on. Got to set our cursor at the front of our loop. And hit play. sounds pretty decent the way it is EQ wise I think I'm just gonna hit it with the blockfish what you'll hear here is as you compress it harder you're gonna start bringing the ring of the toms out so let's hear that hear that versus less See that? What you're really doing is bringing out the ring. Clamp it down a little bit. Sounding good. Give it some saturation. And of course the, <laughs> the air button. Alright, that's not too shabby. Let's get the... Uh, get the drum mix going in here. Maybe a little loud. Alright, I'm happy with that. Let's work the overheads a little bit here. Now we got a good loop for the overheads too. I keep hitting that. Let's hit the uh, effects button, which would be the proper button. Let's go to Vox Sengo's Gliss EQ. And that's what the symbols look like. Now a lot of this down here is is just clangy junk. So gong, that's the gong sound down there. So let's go ahead and uh, high pass that off a little bit. Good, they're still a little bright, so I'm gonna low pass it. Alright, we'll live with that for now. Um, 
And this is kind of where I'm at a crossroads here because this is usually where I would use like a uh, uh, a Vibe compressor or something like an SSL or a Neve or a DBX uh, 160 plug-in, something like that from the URS guys, which are fantastic in this application. But since we're using free stuff here, I'm I'm kind of stuck. I don't know. I'm not. I don't. I'm not gonna get much vibe, so I'm just gonna go with uh, one of these modern, <laughs> basically the same compressor with a different interface on it over and over. But I think the VLME one is the easiest <laughs> one to work. So uh, these are notoriously buggy. So if something freaks out here, don't panic. And we're just gonna smash this. And what we're looking for is a nice uh, sustain. Hear how those are ringing out now versus see how it's it's softening the hit too, so you're not going to get that big psh sound coming at you. Yeah, let's gain it up a little bit. Here. All right, that's all I'm going to do there. I can tell already they're going to be loud, so let's uh, let's hear the whole drum mix here. Alright, we'll live with that for now. Let's work on the rooms. Um, this might be the most important track in the whole drum mix here. Um, what I'm going to do is bring the rooms up and down so you can hear just what these are adding. So let's, let's uh, hear the whole drum mix. And then I'll take them out. And then right there, times are still too loud. And that right there would be your uh, what people think of when they think of sample drums. This would be what that it would sound like. Pretty lame, pretty thin, not a whole lot of character. Let's go ahead and bring the rooms up and see how that this just completely changes the drum sound we got going here. This is basically the best reverb you're ever going to hear right here. Let's go ahead and do a little work on those. Uh, a little bit of EQ, not much. Um, just my personal preference. I don't like the kick drum in my room. Um, only because kick drum is a uh, predominantly low end instrument and I'd like for my low end to be more mono than stereo so I don't want my kick drum spread out all over the room so what I do is I hit that with a high pass and this is just a personal preference if you like it spread out go nuts but I like to get the kick drum the low end part of it out of my room mic But I don't want to get into the snare. And that's pretty good. And I got just way too much white noise stuff going on over here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit that with a low pass. another vein attempt at uh, getting some vibe into this and go with that uh, modern VLME again and smash it again what you're, what you're trying to do here is just make this as fat as you possibly can All right, let's bring it all together. Now 
And I'd say that's a pretty decent drum sound. Let's stop it there, and then we'll get into guitars and bass next. <laughs> 